Hi guys, my name is Alexo Avrenin. Welcome to YouTube channel Senior QA Automation Engineer. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today we will talk about preconditions for any Maven Java Selenium project. First of all, you need IDE, your tool for creating a project, writing and editing your code. Most popular Java IDE are Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA. I prefer IntelliJ IDEA. It's more user-friendly and convenience IDE. I go to official website and download community version. It is enough for almost any test project. Ultimate Edition has more developer features and integrations, but you don't need it for testing. After downloading execution file, you just do simple installation. Ok, click option create new project. You should see SDK project. If IntelliJ IDEA detects Java GDK already, it is good. You don't need to do additional actions. But if not, you should add pass to your Java GDK folder in program files. If you don't know whether you have Java or not, you can open your CMD and type Java space dash version. It shows your Java version. If not, you need to install Java first. Go to Oracle official website, downloads, ok, we can see Java 11, but I prefer Java 8, I get used for this version. Click and select accept license, and after select execution file for my operating system. Do simple installation. After that, in Java SDK, select a path to Java GDK in program files. After that, you can select Project Building System. We select Maven for this project. Now we need to type Group and Artifact ID. You can select Name and this info is displayed your in XML. You can change it anytime. But the best approach when you give URL like com dot your website to Group ID and name of your website or application in Artifact ID. After that, give to, to project the name, it will the name of your main project folder and pass to this folder too. Ok, IntelliJ IDEA opens structure of our Maven project. You can see POM XML. It is a main file in Maven project always. If you can see POM XML in any Java project, it should be only Maven project, because sometimes some developers or testers they use Ant or Gradle, it's different building system. POM file has all dependencies, libraries, plugins and more. POM manages whole project. For our test project we need TestNG and Selenium libraries. For that I open official Maven repository and find required dependencies. I select Selenium Java, select latest version. I need Selenium library for interactions with web elements in browser. I just copy the part of Selenium XML and paste in dependencies in POM. Firstly, I should add dependencies block in POM and secondly, I add new dependency. ID asked me to import changes. I submit it. After that, I find latest version for TestNG. TestNG is framework. It helps us to create, manage tests, reports, and much more. Without TestNG or GUnit, almost not possible to create Java UI or API test project. You can't run tests without TestNG. We 
select latest version but not beta version I copy and paste the SMG dependency in POM I submit import my new dependency again okay we have all for creating test for that I create Java class in test folder class name starts always from uppercase and it should explain some information about your test you can make a test for specific feature of part of application or separate test suite inside curly brackets in class we can create test or java methods it should almost always public void void means that methods doesn't return any data in the end after completion Usually we doesn't return any data in test. Test is exist for other goals. Name of Java methods should start always from lowercase. Curly brackets for main code. If you need to mark Java methods as TestNG test, you should use annotation test. It gives you opportunity to run methods inside class without main method and use TestNG features. I should select TSNG annotation, not JUnit, because JUnit is a different library, but it has same annotation. We need to initialize Selenium in our test, which has all browser classes, methods and actions. After that, give a name for reference variable. Usually it's called driver. And add equal new object. It can be new Chrome driver if you need to use Chrome in test. In the end of each line with action, you should add semicolons in Java. After that, we should add real Selenium drivers for different browsers. I go to official Selenium website. Click downloads. You can see IE driver, Gecko driver, it's for Firefox, and Chrome driver. Click latest, it is for latest version of your browser. But I don't need to latest version, that's why I select previous version. For me, because I have older browser. And you should select driver for your operating system. For Windows, it's zip format. Shoot unzip driver and add to our project folder. For Selenium 3, we should use system set properties and add name of driver and pass to this driver. If our driver is located in, in main project folder, we can remove full path and leave only name of driver. Selenium can find it. For Windows, it should be always .exe extension for Mac without any extension. 